Good morning guys, Jacob Folger, Art Instructor here in the studio with Jake. It's a series and playlist. I'm first going to show you my paintings, some of them, a stack I just grabbed. This is a finger painting and this is, I'm going to stand to the side and show you some of the uh, shorts I made to make these paintings, okay? Here they are. <laughs> See? And that was actually done real time. Real time. I was painting very fast. Emotional painting sometimes can be very fast. And I was very angry about something. I can't say what, but I was very angry at that point. When I paint that red painting and I put it to some really kind of angry rock music. This is a, I think it's a mixture of finger painting or something. I'm not really sure. This is another angry painting. Um, it hasn't been published yet. This is, um, most of these are Calvis Wedge paintings and finger paintings and stuff. This is a Calvis Wedge painting. They're not all great, but you know, that's how it is. Be real, right? I'll show, I just show you everything I do. Why not? So here's a, an abstract. And I am, I think there's going to be a video for this, but it's not live yet. I don't think. Um, this one. I named this, uh, let's see, Sunset Road because it, it looks like a little road going up to the sunset there. <laughs> This one I did for my friend Jay, and there's a video for that too, or tutorial, uh, not a tutorial, but a short. <laughs> this is a finger painting that went live this morning. Uh, this is actually Tuesday, and the video, this video is for tomorrow, Wednesday. I try to do a painting video uh, every um, Wednesday. There you go. And I think... Uh, this series is going to be on Wednesdays if I can hack it. Um, oh, did, did I show you this one yet? All right. I think not. But I really like this one a lot. It's called Catalyst Sparrow. I don't know if you can see a bird there, but I can. <laughs> and uh, this one was a finger painting and a uh, Catalyst Wedge. Not the entire painting, but part of it. Uh, you know, I after I was finished making the video, I went back and did this. And I think that is awesome. I'm so happy with that piece. And uh, I think you already saw that one. Yeah. So, there's that. But there's more. <laughs> I also made this. It's a fantasy tree. Uh, sculpted on an appetite... Uh, stone, rock, whatever, and it's got a little heart here, and that's customizable where you can put, uh, I can put, the initial, your first initials of you and your partner, what do you think? So, um, and I also made a bunch of these guys, and I've been doing a little bit of videos with them in the short department. And I have a tutorial going live. Is that too close? It's a dragon on a crystal pendant. This is on a black stone. This one's on a turquoise stone. I like doing really small stuff. And plus, I don't have any space, you know. But I love to sculpt. So, this is on uh, lapis. That's a lapis stone. And I'm not sure what kind of stone this is. Maybe you can tell me. Kind of a rectangular type thing. I'm not really sure. And uh, this one is on a rose crystal. 
And uh, some of these are in process of being instructed. Um, this one here um, is for the tutorial that I hope will go live on Saturday. Um, but what I'm doing now is I'm adding scales after the bake, the first bake, just to make it easier and more sturdy so I can just handle it a lot while I sculpt in the, st the scales. So the scale part is not in the video, but there'll be a short on how to do it. I'm sorry it's difficult for me to look at the little dot right there, and it looks like I'm talking to you, but I cannot look at that. It's not natural, so I just look, like I just talk and just do it like this, and it looks like my eyes are going over here. I apologize for that. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to do some painting uh, with, I think with my fingers in the catalyst wedge is what we're going to do today. Why not? It'd be fun. And uh, we'll get started in just a minute. Okay, forgive the orientation, but I don't have a really tall uh, tripod that can handle, you know, the view that I needed for this to do this. So um, what I'm using is blue tape, uh, which is painter's tape, to tape it down to, uh, to my workspace. So uh, it doesn't always work, but we can try. Um, I am using uh, this paint, which is Benjamin Moore, actually house paint, and it's from acehardware.com. These are roughly six fifty or $6 and some change, and uh, they're great, really great. So, I've got black here, and I'm just going to pour it on my canvas. And I've got orange here. And I pour it on top. Like that. Now, some people might call this a poor painting, but I don't think it is. But I really don't. For me, I'm not really into the poor thing. But definitely other things. So, I'd like to start with a nice rhythmic motion using the side of my hand. So I'll stop there. Grab a cloth. Just so I don't mess up the area around the uh, around the piece, you know, like a, the border. And then something just Really simple like that, maybe. And there it is. Now what I do is I take my callus wedge and I have a bucket of soap, soapy water, and I just dump it in there. That way I don't have to mess with it and I can clean it later. My hand is wiped off and I can wash it later. No big deal. That's one pity. It's easy to do. The thing is, the thing is, I think people don't do is they don't give it a shot. This doesn't cost much. You can get two paints at Ace Hardware for ten, what twelve bucks, some watercolor paper. You'll be in business. Piece of loop, loop of uh, blue tape. And let's see, how about, um, we'll do black and white. Oh, I got some of this. And some white. And, uh, let's see. I'll do the same kind of rhythmic thing for a second. A lot of paint on there. I'll do a little bit of this about it. But now what I'm doing is I'm kind of working it to the border. So the border, so it's centered on the paper.
like that. You see how simple that is? Now you can do this. Absolutely. Absolutely you can. And I encourage you to try. So I'll take this. Now what I do is I just leave the tape on. I don't like to ripple it or anything. That paint has to dry. It'll probably take about 12 hours to dry. And I'll just lay it on a flat surface. There's the tape. And I think this time I will do black. Orange. And white. And bring it on down a little bit here. Like my hands a little bit, and I think I'll, I'll bring it. I'm kind of define that border a little bit more. And it's kind of like a mat, you know, in a way, I mean, because it doesn't, doesn't require a mat. Yeah, I think that's pretty close to where I want it, and, uh... What do you think of that? <laughs> that's not bad, eh? So, uh, that's a little tutorial for you. It's not difficult to do, as you can see. And finally, a little art studio tour, which I think I'm going to try to do on uh, these videos. He's uh, in the studio with Jake. Uh, I haven't done a lot of setup or anything because, you know, I, I haven't had a lot of time uh, to do anything. There's piles of art. And uh, there's boxes and boxes that haven't been opened yet. Um, but I'm sort of kind of trying to pull it together. I, I had bad hip for a really long time. That's why I have a walker. I don't anymore. My hip has been surgically, surgically fixed. Those are some of my sculptures. And there's tons more. There's tons more and shelves everywhere in the back bedroom and everything. That's a new painting that I'm kind of working on. I know it's a little weird, kind of dark. But anyways, um, this shelf over here. There's a little bit less on it because I was trying to do some uh, different things. It's a dragon I really love that I made uh, back in 2001, I believe. It's uh, roughly about 13, 14 inches high. Uh, more pieces. Big, beautiful window. My cat is hiding. He doesn't like the camera too much. Although he does let me take pictures. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. That's, uh, that's it for today. Thanks for your support. And have a great day. Bye-bye.